We have the Halloween Part 2 event in Pokemon Go. It's going to be a fantastic time because we have a Shadow Integration event at the exact same time with brand new shiny costume Pokemon, and man, oh man, do we have some cool bonuses. So with all that said, I'm going to give you my top tips, strategies, and tricks to make your Halloween great in Pokemon Go. So welcome to the Trainer Club. Here we go. The Halloween event mainly brings about great bonuses. Not only does it bring about almost the same bonuses that have been about, but there are two variations here. Number one, costume Pokemon are gonna bring about additional candy when catching, and then on the 31st, so basically at midnight all the way until 8 p.m. when the event ends, because this event is going down from the 26th at 10 a.m. all the way until the 31st at 8 p.m., you will be able to get rare candy and XL rare candy potentials when catching costumed Pokemon, which is very exciting for me. I'm really excited about this one, so I hope you guys are too because rare XL candy is a valuable, valuable resource. And if we can get a decent amount, I'm sure it's going to be pretty rare. And I'm probably going to overhype myself as always and get disappointed and get 10 for catching a thousand. But still, I'm going to try. Okay, I'm going to try. With that said, we are getting two brand new shiny costume debuts. That's going to be the Trick or Treat Pikachu and the Trick or Treat Gengar. And there's going to be a little bit of change to some of the spawns and the likes. So we're going to start all that with our top tip, starting off with tip number one. Tip one is focused on, oh man, the spawns. The spawns of this event are gonna be pretty cool because we have the brand new Pikachu. Okay, so the Pikachu number one spawn and the Gengar, which is a rarer spawn of this event. I wanna make sure that you guys catch these ones in the shiny form if you can, because at some point, especially that one Gengar with the whole garb costume on is very, very rare, but it can still mega evolve. So this one will be able to mega evolve. And at some point, if we don't get it back, it's gonna be very rare in the future. So having this Pokemon right now will entice all of these shiny hunters in the future to pretty much get you anything you want from a lucky trade. So I would suggest trying to get as many as you can right now for the future trades and be valuable and be leveraged. We are also going to be getting Vulpix, Murkrow, and Mistrevis. All of them do have shiny forms. And then we have the Sableye. So Sableye in the mega form is one of the most valuable Pokemon for this event because it's a dark and a ghost type Pokemon, making it extremely good for mega XL candy and regular candy gained when playing with it at a mega level three. Very important to have it mega level three. If you didn't take my advice this year and you see how valuable it could be, please have it a couple of them ready for next year. That's all I ask here for you guys for your benefit. But in the Great League, this Pokemon is ranked 14 with Shadow Claw, Shadow Ball, and Return at a 3, 14, 15. So it's going to require some XL candy here. So make sure to get as much of that as possible. And then we have the Halloween Piplup that has come back. That does have a shiny. Great one right there. We're going to have the Drifloon that is out. Driftblim used to be really good, not ranked as good anymore. And then we have the Yamask and Kofor Gigas is well ranked. In the Great League, it's ranked 78 with Shadow Claw, Shadow Ball, and Dark Pulse at a 0, 11, 14. And then in the Ultra League, it's ranked 59 at a 10, 15, 15 with 296 XL candy. So if you do in decide to invest in all that XL candy and all that Stardust, please make sure you like the way this Pokemon plays and it plays well into your team before using all of those resources. And then we have Zerua, which is a brand new shiny of this event. Man, the shiny looks great. I think it looks fantastic. So just as a reminder, every time you see your buddy Pokemon out on the map, please catch it, right? If you see, and I would prefer that you guys are walking shinies, it makes it more obvious. That, oh my God, there's a shiny Mewtwo, especially a shiny Legend. Oh, shiny on the overworld, right? You can see it actually on there. Catch it. It has the potential to be a shiny now and always have a buddy Pokemon out. And if you see a Pokemon, let's say you're not walking, or you're maybe a regular Squirtle, you see a Squirtle, please make sure to click on that. It's the Halloween event. Then just click on any Pokemon you see that is the exact same as your buddy Pokemon you're walking. Then we have Fennekin, we have Phantom, and Phantom does do well in GBL. So for the Great League, it's ranked 73 with Shadow Claw, Seed Bomb, and Shadow Ball. At a 0, 15, 15, and then in the Ultra League, it's ranked 61. Same exact moveset. At level 43 and a half at a 1, 15, 15. So a little bit of XL candy, but definitely some Stardust there. And then we have the Pumpkaboo, and we have the Noibat. And the Pumpkaboo is now going to have the costume on it. So this is going to be the rarer variant of the Shiny for one. For two, Pumpkaboo is a unique Pokemon because because yes, you can see it as an XL candy on the map, so it is bigger. Not only that, this Pokemon, when trading it, is going to get a free evolution, as well as the Phantom. So both of these Pokemon are great if you are doing or participating in the two times XP for evolution during spotlight hours in the next month. I'm sure it will be out there. Save all of these Pokemon, even trade them with people, and then put them in a folder, and you're gonna have a hour, or maybe even more, you could have definitely way more, of free evolutions, and put on two lucky eggs, and you're gonna yield all of that XP. So it's 
it's not going to cost you any candy, but it will gain you back XP, which is valuable, but only if those Pokemon have been traded. And then finally, like we talked about the rare Gengar, in the Ultra League, it's ranked 89 with Shadow Claw, Shadow Ball, and Shadow Punch, which is the calm day move at a 0 15, 14 IVs. And so that's everything we need to know about the spawns going on during this event. Get out there, have fun, which is going to lead us to tip two. Tip two will be all about the research going on, which will lead us into the rocket event at the same time, because there is a research task that I want you guys to focus on in there. So number one, the research going on is going to be as follows. The Halloween part two timed research. We have Erna County exploring with your buddy for a Pikachu trick or treat encounter. We have catch five Pokemon for a Murkrow encounter, make three great throws for a Pumpkaboo encounter, and then spin three Pokestops or gems for a Sableye. Then we're gonna get the trick or treat Gengar encounter. And then in stage number two, we have earn a candy exploring with your buddy for a Pikachu encounter, power up a Pokemon three times for a Misdreavus, make 10 great throws for a Phantom encounter, then we have catch 15 Pokemon for the Gengar encounter, spin seven Pokestops or gems for the Noibat encounter, and then we have the Zerua encounter as the reward, 2,500 Stardust and five rare candies. The Spirit Tomb research is out there for the earn 1080 Stardust, earn 1080 XP, 108 nice throws, 108 curveballs, 108 berries, 10,800 XP, eight Pokestops spun, 10 Pokestops spun, which will give you the Spirit Tomb encounter, and you're gonna get the Misdreavus, the Yaw Mask, the Pumpkaboo, the Phantom, the Shuppet, the Litwit, the Ghastly, the Drifloon, and finally the Spiritomb Encounter. And then we have the timed research here. That's going to be spin three Pokestops or gems for the Ghastly, catch 10 Pokemon for the Mistrevious, make five Curveball throws for the Litwick for a Phantom Encounter, and five Silver Pineapple Berries in stage two, make two Curveball throws for the Poochiana, transfer 10 Pokemon for the Galarian Zigzagoon, and then we have catch 10 Pokemon in the Ghost type for the Sableye Encounter, and then we're going to get the Phantom and an Incense. In stage three, we have walk two kilometers for the Purloin Encounter, send five gifts to friends for the Alolan Meowth. And then we have Catch 10 Ghost Type for the Umbreon Encounter. Fran Temp Reward for 80 100% IV. And then a Incubator. And then finally Hatch an Egg for a Drifloon. Make 10 Curveball Throws for a Yamask. Catch 15 Ghost Type for the Grievard. And then Trevenant and the Ghost Pose. And then we're gonna have field research as well. Let's check that out. Make seven great throws for a Miss Magius encounter. And just to remember, the Miss Magius is gonna be a second tier evolution Pokemon, great Pokemon to give a raspberry and run away from to save for a Stardust three times X calm day. And then we have walk one kilometer for a Galarian Yamask encounter for 20, 100% IV. Evolve a ghost type. Remember, you can trade a Phantom or a Pumpkaboo and get that evolution for free after traded, as well as a Haunter evolution. And that's going to be 481 on that one. And then power up a Pokemon three times will actually be a Grievard 435. Remember, if you power up a level one Pokemon, that's going to save you a ton of Stardust, 600 as compared to up and up. And then for the rocket type research. So obviously we're going to have Giovanni, which I will come out with that research, but also we are going to have Mysterious Component research as well. It's going to be defeat two Team Go Rocket Grunts for a Mysterious Component. This is the only time you can stock up on Mysterious Components beyond having the rocket radars, or what actually might happen is you get six Mysterious Components, and I think that it then builds you a rocket radar and so you're having the rocket radars in the background. So regardless of whatever it is, just keep going, get as many of those field researches done and do a lot of the rocket grunt encounters because that's gonna lead us to do a very valuable tip in tip three. Tip three, all about the rocket grunts going on during this event. Okay, so we have brand new rocket Pokemon that I do cover in a complete video. Check it out up here, but I am gonna put them in here as well just to encompass. We do have the Ghastly, which is going to go into the Gengar in the shadow form. Very, very strong Pokemon. I do cover them all in that video. I'm gonna go over the top Pokemon that I suggest that you guys go after. Rhyperior from Rhyhorn, very, very strong. Definitely hunt that grunt. Barboach, I haven't seen the PvP stats yet. Hopefully it will be out by the time the video drops. If not, I will have it in a video very soon. I believe will be a pretty strong Pokemon. It doesn't have the strongest like confusion type fast move, but I think that it could be valuable in place. Kranidos, extremely strong going into Ramperdos. We do have the Shield on going into the Bastiodon, I do believe might be pretty good because it has more of that faster type move. So between the Shield on and the Barboach, I do believe the Shield on will be doing a better job at a PvP type Pokemon here. And then we're going to have Excadrill, which is going to be very strong ground type and Litwick, which is actually going to be a very strong ghost and fire type as well. So man, check out that video. Enjoy yourself, but hunt all of those grunts that are important. And then we have Regigigas as a shadow Form, and then we also have the Lugia in the raids for two days from 10 a.m. is what it says. I would check earlier in the day just to make sure at a different time zone than you, unless you're in New Zealand, which then you're at. 
kind of out of luck. But if you are in the US or anywhere else in the world, besides New Zealand, you will be able to check to see what time those raid battles do start, which would help you in your planning. Okay, guys, so those are gonna be all the things to focus on. Man, there's great Shadow Pokemon being integrated. We're gonna have new shinies, which I will talk about in a video very soon for you guys. But as of right now, that's what we have. So then that's gonna lead us into Jip 4. Tip four will be about frustration. TM it away from all of your Pokemon that you needed. Any of your legendary Pokemon that are well ranked, I highly suggest you guys TM those away. Not only that guys, we have other bonuses which are going to include increased shadow raids, which is very valuable for the Lugias out there. And then also we're gonna have increased rocket activity. But let's talk about some of the top 30 shadow Pokemon in Great, Ultra, and Master League that you may consider TMing away frustration on. In the Great League, we have number four, Gligar, rank seven, Swampert, rank 10, Poliwrath, rank 17, Machamp, rank 23, Quagsar, rank 24, Steelix, rank 28 Gliscor and rank 31 Sand Slash and 32 is that Ninetales down there. In the Ultra League, we have rank 6 Steelix, rank 8 Registeel, rank 10 Regirock, rank 12 Swampert, rank 18 Poliwrath. While wow, Poliwrath does some work in both leagues, rank 21 Gliscor, rank 26 Walrent, and rank 32 Dragonite. And then in the Master League, rank 4 Dragonite, rank 7 Mewtwo, rank 18 Gyarados, rank 32 Snorlax, rank 36 Ursaluna, 38 Ho-Oh, rank 39 Mamoswine, and 40 Lugia. Alright guys, so those are going to be a quick top 30 to be able to TM and then obviously all the meta attackers that we have had come out that are meta attackers TM away frustration in the Zapdos we do have the Moltres you could do it against the Articuno even though Articuno as the shadow form is not really the best there obviously we want to do a Mewtwo and then when we get the Lugia if you get a good one TM frustration away on that Pokemon and then Regigigas as well I suggest you guys catch at least one of those Pokemon just to have in Pokemon Go so that is going to be TM away frustration very popular and powerful time to ever do this doesn't come out very often Often, so take full advantage of it right now. Stock up on some of your TMs and get away frustration in Pokemon Go. Which is that good least to tip number five. Tip five is going to be the encompassing raid battles going on during this event and what you should do with them or not do with them. In regular raids, we're going to have Ghastly, Miss Drevis, as well as the Phantom. Okay, so Phantom will be in there. It does have the shiny form. Do I suggest hunting the shiny as raid battles? Probably not. I would skip over all these tier one regular raids, personally. Tier three, however, is a little bit of an exception. We have the Trick or Treat Gengar, which I know a lot of people are going to be raiding for. It's a great looking costume Pokemon. I'm looking at it right now. Wow, it looks pretty good. I'm a fan. Not quite as good as the full dressed up Gengar with the pin cushion thing cursed Gengar looking costume you guys know what I'm talking about it's right here that I think is the best Gengar costume but this one pretty good and then in tier 5 we do have the dark right and then we do have the mega bayonet in the mega raids but then to the shadow Pokemon we have the ghastly Grimer Mistrevis and Litwick Grimer can be shiny we have Nidorino Nidorina and then we have the Golbat in tier 3 raids and then in the tier 5 raids we are going to have Lugia which obviously I like the Lugia I'm going to be raiding for it I can't wait to make a video about it it's going to be an exciting time I'm excited hope you guys have fun doing that so those are going to be the raid battles probably for the shadow raids i would do maybe one unique of all of those if you guys can and if not you can just dump over it and continue on with your life and there's two more things that i want to talk about number one is 12 kilometer eggs so there are going to be 12 kilometer eggs that i don't really know why they're being super highlighted just because the rocket events are out so there's two pokemon in there that are good well a couple of pokemon that are good but the two pokemon i want you guys to focus on as meta attackers is larvitar and dino larvitar is 445 and dino is 455 while Solanda, you can get the female form and do the evolution and there is the shiny pancham in there as well the main focus of these 12 12 kilometer eggs is getting 70 to 90 thousand stardust on a star piece i love that you're going to be doing battles you might as well accumulate some of those eggs even if you're just hatching one 12 kilometer egg at a time with a free incubator do that why not you're going to be getting a ton of things through all the rocket activity you might as well capitalize number one and number two on the 31st we are going to have halloween event which means for costume pokemon we are going to be able to get the chance of getting rare candy and xl rare candy with that said it's going to be a very valuable to you guys the reason why i think it's going to be very valuable too because i hope i really hope that we're going to get a little bit more than the bare minimum but even if we're getting the bare minimum getting 10 20 30 xl rare candy is valuable to me because doing that through raid battles is is not always the most lucrative so when you do have the chance to get in the wild go hard i plan on making a cool video about this i hope you guys enjoy it enjoy the halloween event it's fun it's going to be over before you know it and lugia raids are going to be out there so i will be out in santa monica doing some raids so if you guys are out there too i might see you there so thank you guys for being here as always to all my likers commenters subscribers patreon members everybody takes your support subscribe to your participation to next level i'll see you guys out in the next video peace 
I want to take this time to thank everybody who supports me in every facet. It means the world to me and an extra special thank you to all my Patreons. I greatly appreciate the extra support to continue to allow me to pursue Pokemon Go full time, allowing me to create my daily video uploads in the most timely fashion for everyone's benefit. Plus, I get the amazing experience of sharing my creative processes behind the scenes and rating all around the globe with select upper tiers. Thank you everybody for being a part of the Trainer Club. You all mean the absolute world to me, and I will see you guys out on the next video.